Hello, and welcome to Century. Uh, we are still checking out Steam Next Fest demos, and I want to play this game called Century. If I remember correctly, I could have looked this up before I started playing this and recording it, but if I remember right, it's a FPS shooter that's also like a wave-based thing, so like you have waves of monsters coming into your ship, or aliens, but you can also like set up turrets, uh, traps and stuff, which I'm always a big fan of like wave-based stuff like that. So let's check it out. Okay. Convoy mission. Prevent the enemies from escaping the subsystem. Randomized enemy forces and breach locations. So there's two levels here. So let's check them out. Ah, uh, oh. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. All right. Ah, well, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just losing it. Um, actually, go back. A flak turret. I want an auto turret. I don't want it. A semi-automatic gun that fires shotgun cartridges at nearby enemies. Targets. Turrets can... Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's get more armor, I guess. And more health? I don't know. What's the vortex glove? Produce a single outward energy blast. Okay. Now, yeah, let's get into here. Let's get, um... So I can get either the assault rifle or railgun, but then I have to get a smaller weapon. I guess this is like a Petrina K. A semi automatic that fires explosive rounds. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Let's get the. Sh oh, man, hard choice. Well, we have two levels, so maybe I'll switch it up. Let's do a shotgun and an SMG, because why not? Let's get nutso with it. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing, so it's going to be a shit show anyways. Okay, so I'm guessing they're going to breach through here. So let's set up some defenses, I guess. How do I? How do I? Oh, I see. I'm like, how do I do this? And then. Can I rotate it? Nope. Oh, God. Uh, nope. Oh, God. Wait. <laughs> Everybody stop. Uh, to, 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 to controls. I was right at it. If you had it controls, there should, I would imagine there is a rotate. Okay, rotate is F or R. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, nope. Let's breach now. Breach now. I didn't account for the fact that you might need to um I guess we can recycle this, right? But I should probably like let them at least come in a little bit 
so that I can get all their um, items and stuff. Like, I guess they're droppables, which is some kind of loot. All right, let's do. Beautiful. All right. Reload everything. Giant alien dog. Repair you? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll keep those guys there. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. And then we'll. I think this is the shotgun turret, so we'll put those here. And I guess that will do it. Reload everything. Reload, reload. All right. Breach me, daddy. That turret left. Let's see. I'm taking some heavy damage. I'm still doing pretty good. Nice. Hell yeah. That will do it. Reload, reload. Might as well. Okay, cool. Oh, what? Oh, there was a third spot. Oh, God. I did not account for a third spot. Uh, 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh god, I gotta get in there. Oh my god. Oh no. I messed up so bad I didn't see there was another spot. I definitely shot like right at him a few times and <laughs> did not take it, but that's fine. Oh god. Well, that looks like a big boy. survived that one. <laughs> oh, this looks like it could be co-op with like up to four players. Nearly all... Yeah, I know. Okay, I messed up. You know what? Alright, let's try the fuel exchange. And switch up the weapons. Yeah, I didn't realize you could play up with like... I didn't realize there was a possibility for four-player co-op. That's really cool. Well, I'm a sucker for railguns. Well, let's try this pistol, I guess. As for deployables... I mean, I think these are pretty fine. You can, like, keep them close to the entrances. Um... When an enemy sends them, kind of shocking and damaging them. Oh, play that triggers a tractor bomb like that tracks the enemy to the center of the pad and raises them into the air. I would just as soon as place, um, yeah, landmines, and... The health stem was very handy. We could definitely use more armor. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Where is... Oh. Uh-oh. Let it cook for a second. Okay, I think it has officially <laughs> crashed. <laughs> I was going too quick for it. All right, we'll be booting that bad boy back up. <sighs> That's a really fun game so far. Well, hold on, I'll wait until... This can just be for the Twitchers. But, yeah. This is my kind of jam, these wave based, like you can set up turrets and stuff. All right. We're gonna switch it up slightly only because. Um, 
because this is basically just an assault pistol, so I'm just going to switch for a more powerful pistol. And we did the shotgun turret. Uh, stun jets. Landmines. And health stations. Actually, let's get an explosive barrel, because it looks like at the beginning of the level there are health and... Um, health and ammo stuff, so yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, everybody. The game crashed in the middle of that. Um, we're, we're back at it again. Uh, this time I've switched to... I, I kept the the rail, rail gun. I'm switching to the powerful pistol. I've got an explosive barrel instead of a health station, and I got a grenade. That's what's new. That's what's different. Let's get back into it. Sometimes that's just what happens with these demos. You know, they're not fine finished games, so some, you know, there's going to be some bugs and stuff. But no big deal. All right. Rotate. Easy peasy. Let us place just one more mine again. All right, they're coming from A. I guess I'll do it. We don't really have a, a lot of other options here. Everything's reloaded. Rock and roll. I really like this pistol. It's a very fun concept. <laughs> Where it shoots like rounds that can explode and you can mainly detonate them or you just let them be for this world. Okay, so we just have the breach at A and B here. So let's recycle you and replace you with a hot, fresh new model. Straight out of the oven. And we are going to set you up with some stun boys. Nope. Where'd... Uh... Where, uh, 
Reload. Ah, here we are. Alright, heal, sure, why not? Reload, sure, why not? Alright, let's go back to B. Okay, it looks like everything's fine over here. Well, uh, yeah, I guess nothing happened since last time. So maybe I'll take this opportunity to set up some mines and stuff. Alright, we'll call that that. And I guess really the best spot to hide up in would be right by the exit. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to like run back and forth to protect that, so... We shall play the waiting game. I also really like this railgun. <laughs> Here are some fun guns. Nope. Oh. Okay. Now the real trick is to figure out how much... Okay, I could probably... I can at least probably set a turret at each location. Um... I got so much time though. Okay. Okay, yeah, we can at least set a, a, a turret at each location. That'll help out quite a bit. Eh. Okay. Protect the exit. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think the A spot and C spot turrets are pretty good because they're kind of like... High, like a, not hidden, but they're like in a more of an enclosed space in the B turret. The B turret, I think they have plenty of room to kind of like... Headshots. Oh no, I'm running low ammo on my secondary weapon. I hope I don't have to use my primary weapon. Oh no.
Oh, he got pretty close. Nope. <laughs> I returned to pot. I'm like, what? What else do I have to do? I killed them all. I did my job. I did my job. All right, we went from a mediocre victory to a perfect victory, so I will take that. But hey, you know what? That's pretty cool. That's a really fun game. That reminds me of another game that I have on my wish list, but I still have yet to buy, um, called Gross, which is kind of like the same concept, except for it's like zombies and you're trying to fight off hordes of zombies. But I think I like this one a little bit more. Um, let me look something up real quick. I wonder if they're made by the same people. I only wonder because it's like literally the same, uh, not the same concept, but nope. Uh, the last game they made was called Abandoned Ship, so that is not, uh, but hey, this looks pretty cool though. Abandoned Ship looks like fun. I've been looking for like a Pirates, you know, like Sid Meier's Pirates-esque game for a while, so might have to check that out. But yeah, basically, I really like this a lot more than Gross, I think. It's very fun. Um, I can see it uh, kind of scratching that itch that that Gross never necessarily did. But I mean, I think I still think Gross is a good game, but maybe I might uh, add this to my wish list and take that one off. So yeah, that's it for Sentry. Uh, on to the next demo. And if you're watching this on YouTube, see you in the next episode. <laughs>